All right, folks, we're wrapping things up at the end of the old work day. And before I went to my last appointment, I stopped at our local Dollar Tree. Huge shout out to Crafty Girl, my wife's favorite YouTuber who does Dollar Tree hauls. Even I find myself watching her deep thought segment sometimes. Anyway, that's besides the point. So I stopped into the old Dollar Tree to buy some office supplies for my work. This is a brass tab folder for paperwork that I have something planned for, but they were about 20 of them and it was like nine bucks. And what I really went into the old Dollar Tree for, why do I keep calling it the old Dollar Tree? Who knows? Maybe it's young. I don't know. I'm not judging by the people that work there. So yeah, most of the Dollar Tree people, they look like they're from some sort of drug rehab recovery program. Not like first time job, I'm in high school, I'm working at Dollar Tree. It's like I'm some 45 year old person who's been struggling with meth my entire life. So I've bottomed out and ended up working at the old local Dollar Tree. Anyway, I bought myself a pack of Moon Pies. I was watching a Steven Spielberg movie last night and I believe one of the characters was eating a delicious Moon Pie. I think it was John Goodman, irrelevant. So this is it. They are made by the Chattanooga Bakery Company in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Also a famous Glenn Miller song. Highly recommend the Chattanooga Choo Choo if you like big band music. So these were a dollar because they were from the Dollar Tree. They're not the full size, they're the minis. I've already off camera eaten two of them and I gave myself the gurgly guts, guts with a Z so it sounds cooler. And we're gonna eat one on camera and I'm gonna rate it for you. So this is it. This is the Moon Pie. And on their wrapper, you can follow them on Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, www.moonpie.com. Not labeled for individual sale. So a little bit about the Moon Pies. It says that they've been around since 1917, the original marshmallow sandwich. And of course, it's very healthy. It's got enriched flour, so that must mean it's good for you. Ni niacin, reduced iron. Well, you got to get your iron. I mean, blood. Uh, thiamine, monotrate, riboflavin, folic acid, enzymes, inverted sugar. What does that even mean? I didn't know sugar could be inverted. Is it some other dimension? Uh, corn syrup, palm oil, kernel oil all the oils, soybean oil, gelatin. That's why I probably feel sick after eating just two of these things. Well, we're gonna do another one. All that oil is killing me slowly and who knows what in the world inverted sugar is. My mother is probably watching this video and I'm gonna cry about my slow demise. She worries about my health. She's probably not a supporter of the channel because she thinks that me eating all that fast food is gonna give me cancer or some sort of tumor. Here it is. Tastes like stale graham cracker and jiffy, jiff, jiff, marshmallow whip and a thin layer of chocolate. It almost has like a waxy flavor with a graham cracker and not like a marshmallow from the bag, like the jet puff jar of it. If it's really for sale at the dollar store, how good could it be? Two out of five.